Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to be sharing 10 awesome facts about wasps, whether that be bald faced hornets, yellow jackets, cicada killers, European hornets, and much, much more. I'm going to be bombarding you with a plethora of information about these awesome creatures, so let's get into it. Fact number one, yellow jackets, hornets, mud daubers, cicada killers are all wasps. Wasp is the family and is the group for all subcategories of wasps. As all yellow jackets are wasps, not all wasps are yellow jackets. Let me explain. All right, so if you had a dog and your dog was a German shepherd and you have this friend and he says, that's not a German shepherd, that's a dog. That would be the exact same thing if someone said, that's not a yellow jacket, that's a wasp. Yes, it's a dog, but it's specifically a German Shepherd, and in this sense, yes, it's a wasp, but it's specifically a yellow jacket. Fact number two, never judge a book by its cover. Just because a wasp is yellow does not make it a yellow jacket. Yellow jacket grouping is under a scientific name Vespula, including the Dolica Vespula groupings. There are plenty of wasp subspecies that are yellow, that are different from the Vespula grouping, and therefore are not yellow jackets. An example is many Polices wasps, commonly referred to as the umbrella wasp, and even hornets, like the European hornet, are also yellow, but are not yellow jackets. Fact number three, bald-faced hornets are not really hornets. They are a type of yellow jacket. Bald-faced hornet's scientific name is Dolica Vespula maculata, long-faced yellow jacket. And they are in the classification as an aerial nest building yellow jacket, meaning they make their nests above ground. Again, never judge a book by its cover because you can never accurately identify a wasp specifically and solely by its colors. Fact number four, wasps do not hunt people. Wasps can look intimidating and scary to some people, but that does not mean that they are sussing you out to attack you. Especially people who are paranoid about wasps being near them, they often think that wasps are out to find them and attack them. This is not true. Wasps no more want to risk their lives and attack you for no reason than you would to randomly fight Conor McGregor, okay? If they attack you, you are either near their nest or they're feeling threatened. Their attacks are for the defensive towards people, not the offensive. Fact number five. Wasps are predatory, but they are also great pollinators. Most people understand wasps to be creatures that hunt and kill only, but they'll also eat fruit and flower nectar. They'll also scavenge and find nests of wasps that have been destroyed by the weather or other sorts of catastrophe and scavenge out the dying or dead larvae and then take them back to the nest to be fed to their larvae. Fact number six, wasps problem solve. If you were to have a ground nest of yellow jackets or even a nest in your house, and you were to cover up the entranceway because you think that that traps them in there and they're gonna die, you're wrong. Wasps are amazing problem solvers and will work a way to make a new way out of that space. They can chew through almost any material and they can dig through lots and lots of soil. Just look at this yellow jacket scanning each forager as it makes its way back to the nest and making sure that it's not an intruder. That's problem solving. Fact number seven. Different social wasps make different types of nests. As some of the materials they use to make their nests are similar, not all nests are made the same. Comparing a yellow jacket nest to a hornet's nest, a yellow jacket nest is stronger and more resistant to damage. However, comparing a different aerial nest building yellow jacket nest to a ground nest species, the ground species is much more brittle. Even the envelope is different from one species to another. So this is hornet comb. This is aerial nest building yellow jacket comb. Doesn't quite do the same thing. <laughs> Hornet dust, <laughs> yellow jacket, not dust. Same with envelope. This is an arrow nest building yellow jacket envelope. This is envelope from a ground nest. Different material. Made the same, different material. Let's see that in instant replay. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. 
Ground nest yellow jacket comb. Aerial nest building yellow jacket comb. Aerial nest building yellow jackets comb is much stronger. I need a vacuum. Fact number eight. Wasps learn and are adapted to their surroundings. When I relocate colonies, the new location has the colony a bit sensitive to things around them. If I move the colony to my house, the wasps aren't too fond of me getting too close and will probably tell me about myself when I try to shove a camera into their face. But after some time passes, they will kind of mellow out and I can get closer and closer without them seeing me as a threat. And eventually, they don't care at all. Fact number nine. Social wasps make their nests out of wood. A female member of a social wasp colony will venture out each and every day and chew on wood to mix the cellulose of the wood with her saliva to make a paste. When she returns back to the nest, this mound of paste, then she will mold it onto the existing part of the nest and will make a paper material. This paper is called envelope. When they're in their nest at nighttime, the wasps are not asleep, but rather there's a frenzy of activity and the workers will tear down the inner walls of the envelope, chewing it up and then molding that new paste into new parts of the comb. So not only are they the first paper makers, but they're also the first recyclers. Fact number 10, wasps don't actually eat solid food. When a female worker goes out foraging and hunts for food, it's not for her, it's for the larvae. As a matter of fact, she can't eat solid food. The solid food that she's bringing home is only for the larvae. So the larvae can eat solid food once it's chewed up by the worker and fed to them. All right, so that just about wraps up my facts about wasps video. But wait, the video's not over yet. I'm going to be including a little bit of tweezing into this video for those of you who have been waiting and waiting for a new tweezing video. I found some great content of a European hornet colony that I tweezed out a lot of the larvae out of. So here's that nice tweezing ASMR for you guys. Check it out.
All right, so watch this real close. I'm going to pretend to be an adult to one of these. We'll do this one right here. I'm going to touch it, and it's going to regurgitate fluid. Ready? See? There's fluid right there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's fluid there. Bald-faced hornet larva, western yellow jacket larva, and European hornet larva. Larva, singular, larvae, plural. Hefty little pile. These are yours. Here. No. No. Alright, I'm gonna hold you for a little bit. Let pigeon eat some. You're always stealing pigeons' food. Yeah. You're always stealing pigeons' food. And that's not nice. So I'm gonna hold you for a minute. Well, pigeon eats some of her grub. All right, Pigeon, finish it up. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop in the comments and let me know what you think. If you have suggestions for future videos or something you'd like to see me cover in an upcoming video, also drop in the comments and let me know. I appreciate all of you guys who stuck with me throughout the winter time as I post more of my B-roll removals. Thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.